Now to another story that's all new tonight. Tires, debris, furniture, even Christmas trees. You've probably seen these things out there on the side of the road. People will literally leave their trash anywhere. Apparently it's a big problem in D.C. Jess Arnold found out people in living in Ward 8 are fed up with the mess. Then I was throwing away my trash and I just, you know, looked out and I just saw a whole lot of debris. So I opened the gate to here and uh, this is the area where they had uh, couches and uh, debris from roofs and you name it, it was out here. It's like a dumping ground. Sites like these are nothing new here in Southeast D.C. This is one of more than a thousand calls for service that the city has received in the last 30 days for illegal dumping. D.C. data shows more than 12,000 illegal dumping calls in 2019. The director of the Department of Public Works, Chris Geldart, says with two to three inspectors per ward, they're working to keep the alleys clean. They'll literally open up the trash bags and try to find things that would lead them to an address uh, so they can go and start asking some questions about why. In this case, Abdul Rahim snapped a pic of the person who he says was dumping and gave it to officials. The director says he could be looking at thousands of dollars in fines. Uh, it's an environmental issue. I believe all of the uh, war, uh, alleys in Ward 8 and east of the river needs to be totally redone. The mayor devoted $430 million to fix the district's roads, sidewalks and alleys in the fiscal year 2019 budget. We want our city to be as clean as possible and those things can become harbingers for all sorts of different things, raccoons or rats. It could create a pretty big nuisance uh, in an area if it's left there for a while. Part of, of the response that does fall on us is to say something and to let them know and to be their eyes and ears as well. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.